since his arrest, Wortham has done a lot of research and feels that as an indigenous person, he has certain rights provided to him in a United Nations treaty that prevents him from being prosecuted. Wortham thinks that treaty trumps the U.S. Constitution. I just want to bring it to their attention that they're committing treason. You know, everybody is not a United States citizen. We have other options out there where we can be free, and I am one of those free people. Who is, who is held here captive against my will. A trial for a suspected bank robber got underway in Spokane Superior Court today, but it looks like the jury in the case will never have a chance to see the defendant. Tyree Wortham says Washington state laws don't apply to him and is refusing to come to court or allow a public defender to represent him. In a story you'll only see on KXLY4, Jeff Humphrey details Wortham's alleged crimes and his ill-fated legal strategy. Aaron Wortham is literally turning his back on the criminal justice system, saying that he's a sovereign individual and that the state doesn't have any jurisdiction to prosecute him. And so now in a very rare move, Spokane Superior Court is trying him in abstentia. Please rise. Tyree Wortham elected not to stand up when his judge entered the courtroom this morning. While corrections officers looked on, Wortham made it clear he was not going to participate in his trial. I'm not here by consent. The court doesn't have federal jurisdiction to hear this matter. Wortham is suspected of knocking off a pair of Garland District banks in late 2013 and early 2014. He thinks because robbing a bank is a federal crime, only the federal government can prosecute him. This morning, he asked Judge John Cooney to dismiss the charges against him. The court will deny your motion to dismiss and deny your motion to remove to federal court. As far as trial is concerned, are you ready to proceed? I'm not, part I don't, I'm not participating in this trial. And so unless Wortham changes his mind, his jury will hear the case against him without ever seeing the defendant. That's unless jurors agree this is a photo of Wortham before he put on a mask and allegedly robbed one of those banks. I don't know what to say. I mean, I, that's not me. I mean, what do you, I, I don't know what else, you know, people want me want me to say. Since his arrest, Wortham has done a lot of research and feels that as an indigenous person, he has certain rights provided to him in a United Nations treaty that prevents him from being prosecuted. Wortham thinks that treaty trumps the U.S. Constitution. I just want to bring it to their attention that they're committing treason. You know, everybody is not a United States citizen. We have other options out there where we can be free, and I am one of those free people. Who is, who is held here captive against my will. Clearly, Wortham thinks the law is on his side, Aaron, but today a judge disagreed and is taking Wortham to trial with or without him. It may sound like an easy win for the prosecution, but actually the state as well as the judge is going to have to work extra hard to make sure that they do not violate Wortham's rights, trying him in abstentia. Otherwise, they're going to end up giving him an avenue for appeal. Reporting live at Spokane Superior Court, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. not here by consent. Well, the jury and the judge did not buy that man's argument last time, convicting him of robbing two North Spokane banks. Today, the man who says that our state has no jurisdiction over him learned that he will spend 72 years in prison. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. Tyree Wortham did not take part in his own trial, saying that he's a sovereign citizen and the court can't prosecute him. But today, Judge John Cooney sentenced Wortham for the crime. KXY 4's Grace Ditzler working for you. She is at the courthouse tonight. And Grace, he has been so defiant. How did he handle his day in court? Nadine Wortham tried to change the conversation from him robbing two banks at gunpoint to his belief that he's being held against his will because he claims that he's no longer a U.S. citizen. But that argument didn't work out in his favor. Please rise. Wortham continued to defy the court today by refusing to stand up for Judge Cooney and interrupted the prosecutor multiple times. The contract claim has nothing to do with the criminal sentencing. So it does because... I'm, I'm, let him finish, sir. Wortham argued that he has changed his nationality and therefore Spokane County doesn't have the authority to try him. I was not involved in any of this. Um, the reason I haven't participated in the trial is because of my nationality and it will go against 
all of my morals to participate in something such such fraudulently uh, instituted. But Judge Cooney didn't entertain his argument, telling Wortham his claims were a civil matter and didn't apply to the criminal sentencing for the armed robberies. Even after hearing painful testimonies from the people he robbed, Wortham maintained his innocence. He apologized, sort of. I'm sorry on the behalf of those who have done this to you and the trauma that they have caused. Um, like I said, I have nothing to do with this whatsoever. One of those victims, Lori Skillman, wishes Wortham would have taken responsibility. Oh, I was there. I saw him and not taking responsibility for something that he did, especially the young women behind the counter uh, pointing guns at them is wrong. Wortham says the victim shouldn't be upset with him. The victim should be mad at this at the at the state government for their fraudulent activities and and deceiving you to believe and to think that these that these crimes are actually are actually crimes and he remained confident that everything will eventually work out in his favor whatever sentence you guys suppose I need is is obviously good is, is what you guys want this court hasn't provided me with any delegation of authority so you know eventually I'll be home and in court, Wortham also indicated that he plans to file a lawsuit against Spokane County with that same argument that they didn't have the jurisdiction to try him. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. Reporting live at the courthouse, I'm Grace Ditzler, KXLY4 News. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! Ready. <laughs> and let's have a